Have you ever seen these pendulum dances? They look pretty cool. They form different patterns that are pretty nice to watch. And on this video, I will show you how to build your own or how to use mathematics in order to build your own simulation. And at the end, I will show you my own simulation that I did in AnyLogic to replicate these kind of movements. Okay, let's talk about what you need. You will need 15 spheres. You can also use more than 15 or less than 15 for different kinds of effects. 15 seems the most typical one where you have the best effects. You can also use other kinds of things, not necessarily spheres, you can use anything really, but spheres look nice. Now you need to make a decision on how long you want this dance to last. The typical is 60 seconds and the amount you choose will make a difference in terms of how fast things are going to evolve in the patterns. Also a higher cycle will require you to use longer strings as we will see in the equations. Now you need to decide how many cycles your first ball will make in that minute. The typical number that people use is 51. In my simulation I use only 10. That means that the balls move slower and also a higher number requires a shorter length in the strings, as we will see in the equations. The trick here is that all the next balls will use one additional cycle. So if you decide to have 51 cycles for your first ball, the second one will have 52, the next one 53 and the last one will have 65. Now we can calculate the length of each string based on the following equation. But let me explain what G and T are. G is basically the acceleration due to gravity, 9.8 meters squared. We learned that number in school. And T is the time it takes for the pendulum to complete one cycle. Big N is what you chose in the beginning. So how long will this whole dance last? For example, 60 seconds. And small N is the amount of swings the pendulum will have in that amount of time. Finally, you need to decide what is your initial angle because the initial angle change a little bit the effects you see. Some initial angles look better than others. And the angle in time will follow the equation theta zero, which is the initial angle multiplied by cosine of wt. W is the natural frequency of the motion, which is equal to the square root of g divided by L and t is just the time in seconds. And here finally is the simulation I made. I decided to use 10 as the little n, which means the first string will have 10 swings in a minute, and that leads to a length of the string of nine meters. So if you think about real life, this is quite a giant structure, but still looks quite nice and if you're learning how to do simulations in any logic or any other software this is quite a good exercise if you want to replicate this because it allows you to understand 3d space for your simulations in the future uh, physics dynamics and this is quite an interesting exercise to do you can always find in the description box where the model is and you can download it and play with it by yourself.